Construction season is about to kick into high gear. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. And thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. Construction crews started work on University today from Sega Road to Allen Boulevard. News 3's Mark Lovacott is live there with more, Mark. Hi, Sarah and Eric. The work here started about a week ahead of schedule. Construction crews, they wanted to get out here early to take advantage of some of the nice weather. Everyone over here agrees that this work on this stretch of university is needed just so, so badly. Everyone also agrees that the faster this work gets done, the better. Now, these are Honeycrisp apples. Even the sweet taste of his produce can't take away the sour feeling Tim Mulcahy has. Yeah, the last two weeks have been crazy. With the nice weather, business at Brennan's has been great, but it's about to take a nasty turn. Mulcahy's store is smack dab in the middle of what will soon be a construction mess. I think it'll have a huge impact, and I think, you know, we're doing everything we can to minimize that. Uh, full street reconstruction, we're replacing the pavement, the curb and gutter. If you drive on this stretch of University Avenue, you know it needs work. This is the next phase of a complete reconstruction of the crumbling corridor. For the next seven months, University between Seago and Allen will be down to just one lane in each direction while crews do all their work. Just under two miles of road, $12.6 million. 50% will come from federal funds. The majority of the remaining costs, Madison and Dane County will split. Go with the flow, I guess. Yeah. The cost for local businesses is anyone's guess. Okay, he fully admits the work has to be done, but it doesn't stop him from worrying. It's our everyday customer that we worry about losing. Um, you know, and oftentimes, you know, if it's a headache to get here, uh, you know, eventually they just won't come back, whether it's the duration of the project or if it's, you know, long term and, and uh, indefinitely. And that's, that's what we fear the most. And for that reason, Brennan says they need to get creative. They're going to do things like increasing advertising, maybe try tactics like delivering produce to customers, anything they can do to keep business going, be creative, do things to keep customers coming. We're also told that businesses around the area, Sarah, are going to be doing some of the same things. That sounds like a good idea. Well, there are a number of phases with this project, too, Mark. What is the timeline for it? Yes, yeah, sure. we're talking about six different phases with this project throughout the next seven months. If you check out our website, channel3000.com, go to the news link section. We've got lots of information there about uh, what's going to be happening when for those particular phases. Construction, we're told, should be done by the end of October. Simply put, though, for folks who live and work in this area, it's going to be a very, very long summer. All right, brace yourselves. Mark Lovacott mm -hmm. live on the West Side. Mark, thanks a lot.